we want to calculate the complex number negative two plus five i raised to the fourth power. To do this, we'll apply Dumois' theorem given here below. But notice how for the first step, we have to write the complex number negative two plus five i in polar form with the form given here. So let this equal z to the fourth. And the first step is to write z, which is equal to negative two plus five i in polar form. So let's go ahead and graph this point on the complex coordinate plane and then determine r and theta. So we'll mark off negative two on the real axis and positive five on the imaginary axis. So this would be the point for negative two plus five i. Well, the length of this segment here would be r and theta would be this angle here measured from the positive x-axis. Let's go ahead and sketch a reference triangle. This would be negative two and this would be positive five. So to find r, we can use the equation r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And to find theta, we can use tangent theta equals y divided by x. Let's first determine r. r is going to be equal to the square root of negative two squared plus five squared. So that's just going to be the square root of four plus 25 or 29. So here's r. And now we need to find theta. Well, tangent theta would be equal to y divided by x or negative five halves, which means theta is equal to arctangent of negative five halves. But keep in mind that our angle theta must be in the second quadrant. So now we'll go to the calculator. Make sure we're in radian mode, which we are. And we'll press second tangent negative five halves. Notice how the calculator is giving us an angle in the fourth quadrant. It's approximately negative 1.1903 radians. But that's okay because we can use this angle to find our angle in the second quadrant. So the calculator gave us angle theta as approximately negative 1.1903, which would be this angle here in the fourth quadrant. But this also tells us that since tangent is also negative in the second quadrant, our reference angle must be 1.1903 radians. Which means we can find our angle theta by taking pi radians, or half a rotation, and subtracting this reference angle. So our angle is approximately 1.9513 radians. Which means the polar form of our complex number will be r, which is the square root of 29 times cosine of theta, which is approximately 1.9513 plus i sine of 1.9513 radians. Now that we have z, we can apply Gromov's theorem where n is going to be equal to four because we want z to the fourth. Let's go ahead and do that on the next slide. So if this is our complex number z in polar form, so if we want z to the fourth, we'll raise r to the fourth power. So we'll have the square root of 29 raised to the fourth. And we'll also multiply each angle by four. So we'll have cosine of four times 1.9513 plus i sine of four times 1.9513. Well, the square root of 29 to the fourth power is the same as 29 squared, which is 841. And now we'll have to use the calculator to get decimal approximations for these trig function values. So we'll have cosine four times theta. Which is approximately 0.0488. Let's also find sine of four times theta. So this product here will be approximately 0.9988i. So we have 0.0488 plus 0.9988i. Now we'll distribute the 841. But one thing to keep in mind is that if we were to multiply this out the long way, notice how there wouldn't be any fractions or decimals. So when we distribute, we'll round to the nearest integer. 
swap 841 times 0 0.0488. So the real part will be 41. And then for the imaginary part, we'll have 841 times 0.9988 times i. So we'll have plus 840i. So we found negative two plus five i raised to the fourth power would be equal to 41 plus 840i. Now let's go ahead and check this on the graphing calculator. If the calculator is in complex mode, right here it says a plus bi, this is complex mode, we can check this answer by just typing in the left side. So we have negative two plus five i Raise this to the fourth power. And notice how this does verify that our answer is correct. 41 plus 840i is what we have as well. I hope you found this helpful.